We are learning about the um, transition of Tari Shibaksav to Tari Shibaltan. Um, taking it to a very deep level, there was a um, basic paradigm shift from Tari Shibaksav to Tari Shibaltan. Was Tari Shibaksav came from Kodesh Baruch Hu, and Tari Shibaltan came from us. Came from us. So um, that transition took place exactly at the time of Esther. Um, Esther was the end of Nebuah and the beginning of the Anshek Nessus Agdolos. So historically, um, that's where it took place. Esther was on the border, on the, on the cusp of Ter Shabal Peh. And in, indeed, it was the Ratzon of Chazal, Anshek Nessus Agdolos, which we'll call Chazal, to make Esther into Ter Shabbat Pet doesn't only mean that it would have been a Medrash instead of a Megillah, I mean that's part of what it means, but it means that it would have had a different uh, energy entirely. There's the energy of Ter Shabbat Sav and the energy of Ter Shabbat Pet. One of the things that go with Ter Shabbat Sav is, two, well two of the things, one of them is Nisim Gluyim as opposed to Nisim Nistar, and the other is Navua as opposed to so um, it all goes together. Uh, um, if you're part of the Tarsha Vixav world, um, this happened overnight, time of Esther. If you're part of the, if you're part of the Tarsha Vixav world, then you get Kriyas Yapsov, Mon, serious miracles of biblical proportion. Right? Real, real Nisim. Nisim Gluyan, not I shouldn't say real Nisim, Nisim Gluyan. Also, you have Nevoa, Yeshayahu, Yermiyahu. Moshe Rabbeinu, you have Nevoa, as opposed to Ruach HaKadosh. Once you cross that line from um, from Ter Shibiksav to Ter Shibaltpeh, you go, then the Nevoa, you're not getting, if, you, if you're having a question, you don't look up to HaKadosh Baruch and say, what's the story, what's the answer? To look into the Gemara and, and, and try to figure it out yourself. So there's a... Uh, a Kabbalistic language, Isarusa de Leila, Isarusa de la Sata. So, on a deeper level, isn't it Hashem infusing that? Okay, that's where we're going. So, yes, the answer is yes. So, so you look at the conversation in the Gemara, the Anshek Nesak Dolo said to Esther, Esther minatera minayin. Aster, Aster, Ponai, Vinyaymahu. So, it's all about Esther Ponai. So it's all about Hester Panim, so you are not part of Tarsha Bixav, you're part of Tarsha Bopet. It's not Navua, she's one of the seven Navuas, Navios, but that's only after this conversation. It's not Navua, really, it's the Ruch HaKadosh of you, and, and in other words, it's a story of Gullus, it's not a story of Gula, we're in Gullus, face it. So the Yesheni was, was Nechrav, um, the Bayesrishan rather was Nechrav, we're between the word, we're in Gullus Paras, and she said, it says, Aster Aster Panai Vayamahu, but what's the first one? Anoichi Aster Aster Panai Vayamahu. There's an Anoichi in my Pasuk too. And Anoichi refers to the biggest Gibli of our Sinai. So, Anoichi Aster Aster Panai. So, Esther 1, and this was this is all, by the way, before she's in the Megillah, where she said, Kisvuni Ladaris. I want to be part of the Ksav, not part of the Masar. Don't make me a Midrash. I want to, I want to, I'm, I'm part of the, uh, this, in other words, she was saying basically the Nisim of, of Purim or Nisim Galuyim. The, the fact that Haman, who was the biggest advisor, was to Ahasuerus, the best friend to Ahasuerus, and the richest guy in Ahasuerus, the fact that Ahasuerus turned against him was an S. The fact that Esther was in that position was an S. So it's, it's something like, Nesnigla, everybody likes to say it's Nesnister, but it's not. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a regular Nesnister. It's a Nesnister with an aspect of Nigla to it. So the point for our purposes is that it was be, between Sarish of Ixal and Sarish of Alpad. It had both elements to it. See, even in Nister, there could be Nigla, right? I mean, you know. If you're old like me and you lived through the Six Day War, so it was yeah. Nesnigla. Yeah. That's the way. 
People report missing food. Yeah. Even <laughs> was, today. Uh, um, even today. I'm saying of a national level. Yeah. Listen, please. People reported that, that they were about to be shot and the guy disappeared. <laughs> or, or, it was like even if you take one tenth of the stories, <laughs> listen, listen, please. So, but what's what's important for us is not that that borderline, but but what's beyond it. So what's beyond it is Teresh Bixav is all about Navua, all about Nisim Gulyam. We're living in a time of Teresh Peh, which it's all about um, Nisim Nistar and um, Ruch HaKodesh, Teresh Peh, goes together. So here we're saying um, the Amru, and it says in Yuma Chafala from the base. You, you have it? You have the place? The Amru Al Pasik the Kavda three twenty five. Three twenty five. Yeah. What's three twenty five? That's our page. Oh. Yuma uh mm-hmm. <laughs> it's too deep for <laughs> Just the number that came to your mind. <laughs> <laughs> the Gemara says, important Gemara, in Yoma. Oh. Gemara is talking about the difference between the Bayes Rishon and the Bayes Shemi. So, um, the Mar says, to get to our point, Amar of Shmuel bar Onya, my deceive, Alua hahar vavesem eitz uvnu Bayes, the Eretz Abay vei Kavda. This is the Chagi. Chagi was at the time of the the, the, the last Chagi, Zachari, and Malachi, those were the last Nevi'im. Malachi was Ezra, some say Chagi was Nehemia, but it was called Chagi. So the Nevuah, what was the Nevuah of Chagi? He's not as famous as, Chag, as Zachari and Malachi. What was the Nevuah of Chagi? That when, when the Jewish people came back to Eretz Yisrael after Pur, next generation, um, with the, with the um, Aliyah, of Ezra and Nehemiah. So they came to Eretz Yisrael, it was a small oilum. They came to Eretz Yisrael and they didn't build a base of Mikdash. We didn't build a base of Why don't we build a base of Mikdash? Because if you look in the writings of Shlomo Amelach, he says that you have to build the base of Mikdash. Um, he built the base of Mikdash anyways out of gigantic stones, which came from someplace in Ramat Shlomo, and from Eitzim, which came, at Atze Halavanon. So trees that came from Lebanon. So the Jews at that time didn't have the koach not to make a quarry in, in anywhere to find these big stones for the base of Vikdash, and they certainly couldn't get to Lebanon at that, at that time from Yerushalayim. We, we weren't equipped. There was just a few Yidalach that uh, the cave of Teres Yisrael does or the So therefore, we didn't build the base of Vikdash. No building. <laughs> didn't, have, didn't have what to build with. So comes Charia, comes Chahi rather, and Chagi said, yeah, um, you're making a mistake. You don't have to get the, the stones from, from some quarry someplace, and you don't have to get the trees from Levonon. Go up to, this is what he says, go up to Harzaisim, it's right here, and t- chop down trees, and take those trees, and those trees you build the base of Mikdash. You know that um, Harshu, that uh, before the Harbin Bayashani, all the way through history, there was, the, the, the Harzaisim was full of trees. And it was the, the when the Romans came with their cavalry to uh, um, to go to destroy Yerushalayim, so they knocked down all those trees because the Jews were hiding in the trees and sabotaging and, and uh, doing guerrilla warfare against the Romans. So they knocked down all the trees, which was why uh, we got them in. I think to knock down um, Arab trees if they're hiding in the trees, right? So so um, they knocked down all the trees. Now there's no trees. Um, on Har Hazesim. But at the time of the Binyan Bayashani, there was. So Chagi said, a Chiddush, 
that you don't have to have, I'd say Levanon, even though that's very, very strong trees and they'll last forever. Um, you can take, I'd say, um, I'd say Zayis, which you have on Har Hazesim. Obviously, I'd say Zayis because it's called Har Hazesim. Um, and you can use those trees. There was a sort of a, um, I don't want to, to comment over here. There, there was a concession here regarding the permanence of the Bayashani wasn't seen um, to be necessarily the permanent structure. Um, later on, um, much later on, a couple hundred years later, so Hurdus came along and he was Machazic the Bais. His Bais didn't last. After a couple hundred years, it was dilapidated, it was old weatherboard. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't last and it didn't do the same thing physically. The structure wasn't so good. But the, finally, the Gemara says when Hurdus had a, you know, who was a nut, um, and, and was killed Tamid Chacham, he was a horrible person, but uh, with Baba Ben Huta, he had a change of heart, and all of a sudden became like a Hobal Tshuva, and he said, let's, let's read, how, what can I do to, to, to make the Jews like me again? So, um, so, they, so Baba Ben Huta told him, build him a base of it's all the laugh, they didn't remodel, like, let's do a remodeling job, and give him a building. So he did, so on that, the Gemara says, Misha Lai Ra Binyan Hortus, Lai Ra Binyan Yafet Moilam, that was the nicest opinion. So he, was the things that you're excavating today, um, which are very beautiful and stone and strong, excavatable even a couple of thousand years later, are all from Binyan Hurdus, mostly not from this Binyan. But the, the Binyan of, of, of the Chagi told them to do was Alu Hahar, the Sukhumar says, go up to the mountain, meaning Harazesim, Ba'avesim Eitz, just bring some plain wood, like Lag Boiver, right? Avesim Eitz, Uvnu Hapayis, and Hashem says, Ba'ertzaba. I will like that. I will. I will be rutsi in that place. I mean, there should be and I will give it kavod. So, that's the nevuah of, of Chagi. Spectacular. Um, it's a. Um, it's by the way, the first first few of him in, in the Chagi. That's that's what his contribution was to to Yiddishkeit. Something uh, peculiar about that pasuk. The pasuk when it says aluha har vavesem eitz uvnu abayis. The Ertzabo, the Ikavda, the Ikavda is missing a hay at the end. So that's a Aksiv uh, and a Kriv. Aksiv is the Ikaved, Aleph Kav Bez Dalad. The Kri, the way we read it, is Ikavda. Now here's, here's a, 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 a cloud in, in Ksiv and Kri. That uh, if it's supposed to be read that way, why, why, why wasn't it written that way? So the answer is that, I mean, just think of the logic of it. Without any work of our own, it's very kaveh. Once we put it in our Teresh of once we put it in our Amelos, so we know that, so a Kri is, has, has more of our participation, more of our involvement than the Ksiv. It says of that, but I'm going to read it this way. So, so Chazal told us there's certain things that we can be Mosif on the Ksiv, and you'll find this cloud by every Ksiv of Creed that it requires you with participation. Right. Whatever you have a Ksiv of Creed, it requires you with participation. So, so right. here, what's the human participation? You've got it, we, you, Jewish people, have to add the hay at the end of Vikavda, okay? <laughs> what do you want us to do, right? Vikavda, Hashem says, I will give this, I will give this very, very simple bias, Kavod, the Ekavod. You want it to be ve'ichavda, it will be respectable, right? Isn't that the difference in dicta? Ve'ichavda, it will be respectable, that's your hay. So that's a, that's a, a kri and not a kseed. Hmm. So it's missing a hay. What was missing? So now the Gemara says, and this is, this is the, the uh, I believe the only correct way to learn this Gemara, the Rashi and Tyson don't say it. Ba'i shnod the b'chusar hay, correct the Gemara. What's the pshat that it was missing a hay? Says the Gemara, that hay represents that which was missing in the Bayashani, which we had in the Bayas Rishai. So there's hay giluyim, hay things which Hashem used to do, and now Rabbi say you're going to have to do. <laughs> it's even a creed. Ve'eluhein, and what are those five things? Number one, Arain Kaparis Ukruvin. It was missing the Aron, the Kaparis, and the Kruvin. 
it's hard to understand. Huh? Like uh, like the beads that Rabbi Shmuel Kain Gadol went with Nayel Lefnev in the whole story. There was no R in there. Is that one thing or three things? It's one thing. It's one thing. The Mivne of the Aron Kaparis of the cover to yeah. prove him. Now we know there was something there because um, when the Romans, well, I think it says in Kinos, yeah, that yeah, when, yeah. when the uh, when the Romans uh, went in and they raided the temple, <laughs> they, they said that look at these Kruvim, yeah. it's a riot. Right. Look what they're doing, like you know yeah. the, 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 the Kruvim or Urims that was that. But it wasn't the Kruvim. Right. It wasn't the Kruvim of the Mishkan. Meaning, uh, I, I believe this is the chat that that Betzalel of Moshe Rabbeinu built Kruvim in the Mishkan in the Midbar. That went through Shiloh. That went through the Bayis Rishay, and that was not there in the Bayis Shani. So they made something, a mascaric, but it didn't have the kedusha, the power of the lost ark. What about the that was Nignaz, by the way. The, 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 the first, the first Arn Kodesh, mm -hmm. it says in Tanakh, um, the, the Arn Kodesh, it says that Yoshiyahu, that when Shlomo Melech built the Beis Hamikdash, the, the, um, the, it says in Tanakh, he built all kinds of tunnels and, and caves and all kinds of complicated uh, circuitry under the Makam HaMikdash. And his Shlomo Melech's uh, Cheshvin was, which was just unbelievably brilliant and holy, he said there's going to come a time that the, that the, that the uh, Malchus Bavel is going to come and destroy the base of Mikdash. I don't want him to take the sacred turn to be a Bizarre not to her. <coughs> so what, there'll be a quick, um, you know, escape. recovery, escape. escape action for the Arn Kodesh. So the Shlomo Melech, it's just to me, it's amazing. He's building the base of English and he's talking about what's going to happen when it's destroyed. <coughs> it's, there was no half of it. So he built these tunnels. These are the tunnels, the coastal tunnels, the tunnels that, that uh, Rabbi Gorin uh, discovered. He, he, he researched this and he did this. So, so came many, many years later after Shlomo HaMelech, <coughs> in the time of Yoshiahu HaMelech, his great, 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 great grandson, son of Benasha. Arosha, uh, Yoshio was a tzaddik of Al Tshuva, and he was able to delay the Chorban for 22 years, Kaminian Aleph Beis, Chav Beis, Oisius. Um, and he said to his staff, um, guys, time to hide the Ark. So Yoshiahu um, hid the Ark. This story I'm telling you rivals Spielberg. <laughs> that we, we, there, there's no question where the lost ark is. It's it's under the Mark of Habikdash, um, and they they went through all of these escape tunnels, and it's still there. I don't know if there's no reason to believe them. So, so, so where's the first crew? In the first, it's there. It, the first one is there. But why did they have a second one? What do you mean? You said that they had. The they built something. They built something domain in the second base of Mikdash. Ezra and Nehemiah and, and later on Hordus, they built something Domad, they built an Aram, they built it, but it wasn't I, the Aram. I see, but the, so the, so the, uh, the Luchos weren't there? No, no Luchos. Luchos were Momata. Uh -huh. The Bakub is Kadosh Ad because uh -huh. directly underneath is the, I, I believe that if you would drill straight down, um, maybe we shouldn't say this too much, uh -huh. you, you, you will eventually find the uh, Shlomo Melech tunnels. So the Arabs go ballistic whenever um, you know the archaeologists are walking around down there. Maybe they also know that there's something there, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so what's missing? Hey, hey, here's the hay. The missing hay. Aaron Kapiris Sukruvim one. Aish. There was a miraculous Aish on the on the Mizbeach all the time. The Gemara says that even though it's a, um, it, it, even though the Aish was miraculous and Hashem gave the Aish and it was always there, it was a fire burning always on the Mizbeach, not the Aish of the Menorah, Aish HaMizbeach took it by Loisich Beh, but Mitzvah Lohavi Mishalai, there was a Mitzvah to bring your own Aish. Um, Shechina, hmm. okay, that's a big one. No Shechina. Ruach HaKodesh, missing. In the base of Mikdash. Where did the Ruach HaKodesh go? It was in the base of Mikdash, but not in the base of Mikdash. Urimatum. Hmm. So there's no Urimatum. So these really miraculous aspects of the Bayis Rishon were not there in the Bayis Shani. So the Nishkin Klein Azach. We're talking about the, 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 the big five, basically, missing 
Um, and how do we know? It's a drasha on the Pasuk, ve'ikavda ve'ikave. So the Gemara says, not to say that there was no ash, uh, peculiar Gemara, Amr in Bahava Hava, there was an ash, but Sayoye Hudulai Basaya. Didn't do anything. Uh, like, it was just an ash. So it was Kilu Maskeret, uh, almost, uh, of, of the Bayas Risha. But don't forget, it had the Kedusha. Um, it, so it wasn't built from the right material, and it didn't have the main elements of the of the base of Mikdash, the Bayashani, but it had the Kedusha because of the Makkah. Because of the Makkah. So so what's the difference between Bayas Risha and Bayashani? The difference between Bayas Risha and Bayashani is all of these five things represent the miraculous diluyim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Aish comes down from Shemayim. The Arn the, Kodesh. The, the, these, these were the Arn Kodesh. Didn't take any space. The, 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 the five things mentioned over here are five gifts from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, like the ultimate in Isarusa Delay. So it's just a missing hay in, in, in Chagi's words, but it's, it's just exceeded a creed, but it's, it's, it's that little hay. That little hay represents everything that was a gilu of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. We missed it. So what are we supposed to do? The answer is, we, we, can, we can create it on our own. We can create it. It doesn't have to come from high to, from up to down. It can come from down to up. These are things that, that we're able to create. So that's why it's a creed. So it says, Rabbi Tzadok, you can understand it out a little bit better. The Amru, the Gemara says, Al Pasuk V'ikavda, that it's Chaser Hay. And what does it mean? Shechaser B'vayasheni, Hay Dvarim. We're missing five things, as I just read to you. Chaser Tzadik Shehu, Hay Achreina D'Shem Havaya. You, you um, you want to learn a little Kabbalah, or should we skip it? Uh, no, Kabbalah. Yes, <laughs> 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 he's ready. I'm over 40s. Kabbalah needs coffee. There are, uh, just uh, Kabbalah 101, there are um, Esospheros. Uh, just, let's just go over uh, Pasha things. Um, there's Esospheros, means that um, Hashem created the world. And when he created the world, so um, Hashem was Ein Sof, infinite, and he wanted to create something finite for reasons of his own. Um, he wanted to create something finite. How do you create something finite out of something infinite? How does that work? So um, in, uh, in Kabbalah and Zayar and Arizal, it's a bushel of or. Uh, we can't be tofes the R, meaning uh, it's, it's, by the way, it's interesting, uh, I'm not a physicist, so I don't understand what I'm saying, but, I'm, but I think this is true, that uh, it, uh, light itself you can't see. You can only see light when it reflects off something, okay? So uh, it's, it's the color uh, that's reflecting when the light hits it, but the light itself is not something anybody can be tofes. If you, it could be completely dark in, in our, and, and still be very light. So, so the the R of Akharish Baruch Hu is Lashon Kabbalah or Pashut. It's R that's not reflecting like a black hole, right? It's like an R that's not reflecting on anything. It's not something anybody in our world would have any appreciation of. So Hashem created spheros. The spheros are are those things that are being Makabal, the R. So now the R gets a color. So. Uh, Oh, I could see. It's like, it's like. Um, so in the spheros, there's three top spheros that we have no, we can't, we still can't understand. It's too high. Kesser, Bachma, Bina, and then there's the seven spheros which we can get a handle on. So the seven spheros: Chesed, Gvurah, Tiferes, Natzah, Choy, Yisoy, Malchus. That's something we can understand. So that's the seven spheros. It's like, it's like, it's like it. It is a rainbow. The rainbow um, is the is the or pashut, which has no mashmos to it, going through the prism of gas and clouds and coming out b'diuk with the seven gavonim, seven colors of the rainbow. 
was not eight. It's not six. Seven. So seven, seven colors is, is, is Bidiuk, the case, the rainbow, when you make a bracha on a rainbow, so you're making a bracha about the spheres. If you look at the Zoycher Abris, you're talking about not just the bris of Noah, but the kayim and mamare that goes back to the creation of the world. In order for a rainbow to be a rainbow, it has to um, start from the ground and end on the ground and go up. That's the, that's the halachic rainbow. According to, the, according to um, Kabbalah, that's a semicircle. The rest of the circle is under the ground. <laughs> means that uh, it means that with arets, wahai Hashem l'malach hakol arets. So here's your spheros coming coming down and hitting ground and going around in a circle again. Um, so what what the spheros are just to explain it. And, Simple language. What the spheres are is that they give mashmaus to an or pashut. There would be no mashmaus to 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 this or pashut um, until it would say, "Oh, okay, I can recognize the chesed in Hashem." Once it's divided up like a prism, you can recognize the chesed. You can recognize the the tiferes, the din, the the the, hoi, the yisoy. You can recognize it. It, it starts to it, it takes a color. So it's like the world is like this uh, laboratory of a kodesh baruch Hu, where the Or Pashat hits surfaces of Chesed, Gvorah, Tiferes. That's a Choyd, let's say. And those, those surfaces um, have character. So we can start seeing character. We can start seeing color to, 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 um, to the Gavonim of HaKadosh Baruch. Uh, uh, does this make sense, sense to anybody? Okay. So far, so good. Um, so you have, you have these ten spheres. You have Malchus. That's the final sphere. That means when this whole creation of Chesed, um, Gura, and Tiferes, that's if all of these things hit ground, bottom of the rainbow, when they, when they hit ground, they affect the ground, so that's mouthless. Then we have, Ohayah Hashem Lamelech al Kol Haaretz. Ohayah Hashem Lamelech al Kol Haaretz. Ein Melech Beloyam. That means us. So we were talking about already our territory. Tar Shabal Pet. Talking about our territory, our territory is to take these spheros and to have them permeate the ground, and then what you're growing, like that's the rainbow, goes down this way, comes up on the other side. We're we're bringing up Malchus, but now Hakadosh Baruch Hu's bria is shalim. It's completely shalim. So and 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 we return it to the Ar Hapashit, or the words that I spoke about last week, is that Hashem's world world is to make. Hashem's tafkid is to make yesh me ayin, and our tafkid is to make ayin me yesh. Um, a lot of people are good at that. They have something and they make nothing out of it. <laughs> they turn it into blood. But the idea is to, to make it into spirituality. There's, there's a, you know, not to destroy, but to, 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 to elevate. Elevate. The whole thing is to elevate. It's all about elevating. So everything that Hashem gave, the Or Pashat, are things that we can relate to, and then it comes into art, so we bring it up. Now, okay, so that's the easy part. The 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 cast here we have no connection to. Um, the rest of the system that I just described is four parts, and those parts are called. This is the only part of what I'm saying, which is Kabbalah, but whatever. You know, either absorb it or go or forget. It. <laughs> the 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 five sections, which we're talking about the uh, four sections, are called um, Arachampin, Abba, Arachampin, Abba, Ima, Tiferes, Malchus, Mazot Omerit. Arachampin is the Kodesh Baruch Hu, Elan and Musa. That's the five, the fifth, the first of the five. Now comes to what we can understand. Abba, we understand the mashal, the no saying, the mashpia, even in the biological model. Hmm? Abba is mashpia. That's chachma. Chachma is something that bites of information. We understand it today. You can deliver a bite, you can email a bite of information. You can't email Bina. You can, you can only email Chachma. Mm -hmm. Chachma are bites of information. Bina is, the, is what you do with it, the Makabel. It, it's not something which is deliverable. It's not something which, it's not, it's not a, 
it's, it's, it's not a thing. It's not packageable. It's not packageable. It's 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 the it's what you do with it. So that's bina. So that's a bechina of ima. So we say av loyem ain't beloyav loysag. If you, if if one wants to procreate, you could you could be the uh, strongest male in the world. You can't procreate without a uh, without a without a female. A uh, female could be the most uh, fertile. You need a zacher. <laughs> this this requires abba, ima. So like understand that a kaddish baruch who is giving into this world, starting the zayin spheros, right? And that's from the kesser starting the zayin spheros. That's abba. And then Bina is where it starts to be Makabal. So your toggle switch on top is Arich Anpin, that's Hashem, let's say. Um, Abba, which we still don't have any uh, connection to, that's Chachma. Keser Chachma, that's the first three. And then Bina, you see, by, by Nashim, Bina Yaseir at Noida uh, uh, Women, Bina is even a Lashem Nekeva. Uh, Bina is a Nekeva thing to do. Not, nothing to do with women having an intuition. I mean, not, it, it does have to do with that, but that's not the point. We're not talking about men and women. We're talking about a modality of Zafar and Nekeva, the Bria, which, of which women are part of and men are part of. But there are many men that are women and many women that are men. That's not, that's not the, the Kuta here. The, the Kuta is that from a Kaddish Baruch Hu wanting to create a world which has Mashmalut, he started to be Mashpia, and then started to be macabre, and we still don't understand until you get to the spheres. So you have to have Arach Anpin, Abba Imar, Zacher Nekeva. Now, that's where it toggles. Now we can start talking Chesed, Vura, Tifaris, Netzachoy, Yisoy, and all of those, right? Chesed, Vura, Tifaris, Netzachoy, Yisoy, those six spheres, six spheres, are called, in Kabbalistic language, they're all called Tifaris. It's like the pipeline in the middle. That's why Mangan David has six, six uh, points to it. These are the Sheish Savot of, of Tiferes. Sheish Savot, why six? Because Chesed Gvur Tiferes, and that's Achoy Yisai, Mangan David. And then, here's the main thing for us, Ad Kan HaKabola, Malchus. So Malchus is Malchus is the Zer Anpin of a Kaddish Baruch Nukva Nukva de Zer Anpin Nukva de Tiferes it's the, the Malchus is Nekeva Shechina is Nekeva everything that grows from the earth is Nekeva because it's fertilizing all the energy before it that's where we live we, li we live in this place of Nukva so just to make it, all this to understand what line you're upset at. The, 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 what we can understand, which is basically not Kesser, not Chesed, not not Chachma, not Bina, but Tiferes, right? What we can understand is Marumas in the last four, which is Yud K, Vav K. So as, as far as we can understand is going backwards or, well, um, you have you have the last hay, which is where the world that we live in. That's the yud kei vav kei, and this is the the, the, the of the shem ayin beis, the shem mem beis, the shem gimel, samach gimel. These are all the different. Depends on how you spell yud kei vav kei, uh, yud vav hey, yud aleph hey, aleph. All those shemus that uh, that everybody hears about the mysterious shemus. It all has to do with how you spell yud kei vav kei b'miluo. Okay, so so. What, but what's what's the gay to us is that the final hay is Malchus, the Vav is the six points of your Mug and David, which is Tiferes, that's the Vav. Moving backwards, what do you have now? Is the hay, which is the Bina. The, bin, the, the Bina, no, Bina going up, is, is the Bina of the, of the Kesser. And then the first yud is the Abba, Abba, Ima, Tiferes, Malchus. That's yud ke vav ke. And Arachampin, the fifth one, Akash Baruch Hu, we're not all sick in that. That's beyond even the Kesser. So we have yud ke vav ke. The last hay, let's, this is what's important, let's all come back down to earth. So the, the, the final hay of the Sheva Sheva, yud ke vav ke, 
is the hay of Malchus, of what we have to do. Comes Chagi, and he says, V'ikavda, right, what's the lashon of the Pasuk? Alu ha-har, la-vesem eit, uvnu ha-bayis, ve-erzebo, ve-ekavda, you're missing the final hay. Ve-ekavda, it's a ksiva decree, you're missing the final hay. What are you missing? You're missing the final hay, which is the malchus. <laughs> malchus is what you need to do, because now we're after Purim, and we're in time of the Bayashedi, that now it's time for malchus. I'm, I'm, this is what I can do, but you come to, I'm not going to do. In the bias Rishon, I did it, Hashem says. I did it. I, everything came from, from, from everything was personal. <laughs> but now you're up to a different place in history. You're up to the place of malchus. You're up to the place of fertilization. You're up to the place of now growing something. Ein melech b'loyam. What's the mashmos? Uh, you know, it's like with these things, by the way, it's use them or lose them. Because um, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu was, was, was giving these things to us, um, what were we doing? We're not really like uh, grabbing onto, the, um, onto this great giluyim of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Because it didn't come from us, it was just there. So now, the, the, in the Chachmas Hashem is to take it to a next, the next stage. And the next stage is, this is going to come from you and it's going to last. So the hay becomes our Kriya, not his Ksiv. Kulamiti? We got through that? We got a bunch of Koyamona. It's understandable. So how is this hay manifested, says the Gemara? The hay is manifested in Aron, Eish, Shechina, Ruch HaKodesh, or Betumim. All of those gifts were missing, and means all of those gifts can be replaced. And, you know, like the Gemara says by Shmuel HaKad, the Gemara in Sanhedrin, we learned it on Shabbos together. The Gemara says by, so that, that even though there's no Nevuah, there is Ruach HaKadosh, but there wasn't, so there was no Ruach HaKadosh. No, there was no automatic Ruach HaKadosh in, in the, in the base. I mean, there's something you had to work for. One had to develop Ruach HaKadosh. One has to now develop Tyre. One has to, one has to develop or Matumim. There is no more Nevoah. You have to, you have to develop it. So when Moshiach comes, will you use the first or the second? Both, uh, um, the combination of Eish Bin HaShamayim and coming, it'll be the ultimate in, in, in Tiferes. Kedusha Shabbos, remember at the very beginning. So he spoke about that, that when the Eish, when the Beis HaMikdash, there's some place it says that the Beis HaMikdash is a Baish Shalesh. And sometimes places it says we're going to build that third Beis HaMikdash. The answer is, it's both. There's a Bechina of, this, that's, that's what it finally comes together, that Hashem is doing his and we're doing ours and everything is Begali and everything is, it's, a, it's, a, it's Begali but not at the expense of our own our own participation in it. That's not our participation at the expense of the gilui. So, the, so you have a gilui and a mister all together. That's that's what we're looking for. So here's let's, let's see, we have five minutes. It's so beautiful. Summit. The amru al pasuk vi kavda chaser hey she chaser b'bay sheni hey dvarim but the first half as I said it all up. She who hey achreina the shame havaya. What's missing is not just the hey of vi kavda, but the hey which represents the final hay of the Shem Hashem. Shehu, which represents Gilu Shechina Shelo'i Haya Az Shinistalka Nevuah. The last hay means that what was missing was missing the Gilu Yashchina Shinistalka Nevuah, because there was no Nevuah. No word it didn't exist. Shezeh Garam, and the fact that there was no Nevuah, this is a Chiddush of his in the Gemara, Shezeh Garam, that was the Garam Yistalka's Kolois and Heitvar. If there's no Nevoa, and that's what we said at the beginning, the time of Tereshe B'Ksav was a time of Nisim Gwilyan. It was a time of Nevoa. So, um, I don't know what's going on what, but the fact of the matter is that Tufa's over. The prophecy, biblical miracles, Tereshe B'Ksav, the age is over. So, that Garam is Talkus Goloyz and Ahidah Dvarim, Aroin, Be'eish, Shushchina, V'Rach HaKodesh, the Nevi'im, V'ur, Metumim, the Chashuv Sham. Ulu Masam, Okay, Lumasan, so what happened to the hay? <laughs> Where's the hay? Where's the hay floating around in the Bria? Lumasan, noy safa ha hay, ba'ayrazu shihishil az. 
what happened by Purim? Until now, Hashem came across as an or gadol, or a poshut. But from Purim on, la Yehudim haisa, oira, extra hay. Where that hay fly in from? That hay is the final hay of the yud kevavke. It's the hay that's missing from the kavda. It's the hay, it's our hay, and we can only get it in the time of Purim because kimu v'kiblu ayyudim, kimu masha kiblu kvar, that there was an extra Kabbalah satayra. If there was an extra, what was the Kabbalah satayra? Tayra shabal peh. Tayra shabal peh gives us the hay. So the v'kavda, it's missing from the hay in the Beis HaMikdash. Daika was that. It's missing in the Beis HaMikdash, and now it's found in the Beis HaMikdash. That's what happened in the Bayashani. What, what, what was the biggest uh, accomplishment of the Jewish people during the Bani Shadi? Tarish about Pat. Why should people turn to Sinai? Must really assure you, Shul is a Kedu. It's Kedu Lajik, that's the Sagdala. All of a sudden, we have Al Shlaish and Varba, El Maybe. We have a whole new, a whole new Derech of Tanoim here. That's the hay. La Yehudim, Haisa Oiro was the hay of the, of the Shev Hashem, which was taken off of the Kavda and put into the R. Another hand also means that we lost the rest of it. What do we lose? With the Chuvah. We, we lost the Gilui in the Beis HaMikdash. The Bichtav, so to speak, part of it. Mm -hmm. The Chibu. The Gilui. The Gilui. But there's a new hand. Yeah, I didn't even know. Is there a replacement hand? It was to complete. You see, by the way, in the Haggadah, Zu Gilui Shechina. What was the Gilui Shechina? That every, that Rosh Shifcha Layam. Everybody had no clue. It was there for the, it was low, low hanging fruit. Had there, had there been no um, destruction, there would have been no Tarshim up there as we know it. Right. Okay. Just been no, no more people okay. walking around with no one. Right. Look, other religions that don't understand the, the MS um, are still stuck in that in that place. And he's a prophet. He's a prophet. No, we're, uh, we're not prophet. <laughs> Next beautiful thing. What makes a word, generally speaking, in diktuk, what makes a word? Nekeva. The hay. The hay. Because the hay is the bechina of nukva. That's why. The hay is the makabal. What's that? Why? Why? Why is it shachin shechina? Which is true, by the way, because uh, why why is it lashon? Because that's the hay from the yud kevavke. That's the final hay of the shem hashem. That's what you're saying there. And every lashon nekeva, because the, the the it means to say that nekeva means iserusa delayu. Who so so a nekeva is nekeva. The whole concept of of nekeva is the concept of the hay achrein of the yud kevavke. Hmm. Shagam shaheshi simana nekeva hiroi mazes miuta or. On the one hand, you have a miuta or mitzad atzvai kamoishahu hanukva lagabi dechura of a nashim daitan kala. Let's understand. It sounds like a, 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 a pejoratory remark against what nashim daitan daitan das kala. Mikomakon. <coughs> So the Nashim died in Kalos, and yet we are all saying Bina Bina Yisera tuition, right? One is Das. Okay, Das Bina. Think about it. Shal Kain, and therefore there's even a halacha that's man gadlu shalakaidim, like girls are bas mitzvah twelve. Why? Because they have a Bina Yisera. So what's the Bina Yisera? The, the answer is what they're missing is in the, the Duchra, the Zachar. The Zachar is that kind of creativity, the creative seed, the, the, the germ of creativity. But on the other hand, what they can do with that creativity is the Bina Yisera. So, so Tarr Shabbat Peh is really the um, the Nekeva, or, or, or therefore the Malchus. So Malchus, the Lashon of the Zayar is like this, Malchus zu Shechina. Shechina, hey, zu Nukva. So Shechina, 
Malchus, Aretz, our world, the world that we live in, Teresh Yavapeh, that's all in the Bechina of Nekeva. And that's the hay of Lahudim Haisa Oira, the hay that the Haisaf of the hay in the time of Megillah. Which is also why Esther had to be a Malka. Malka. But Nemar also says, Chachmas Nashim Bansa Besa. Listen to all those hays. Chachmas <laughs> Nashim Bansa Besa. So women that will build the house. It's so beautiful. What does it mean that she'll build a house? I don't know who's building the house. You know? Women. But, but she has better decorative uh, abilities than, than men. Maybe yes, maybe no. Once a base means that, that give me the house, I'll make it into a home. Didn't Koresh sponsor the second base of English, which was Esther's son? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <coughs> Allowed. He didn't sponsor anything. He didn't sponsor anything. Allowed. He allowed. He passed a law in Knesset. Money, like somebody, oil. somebody, you see, they have to go and, and uh, cut down trees. One more sentence. Vuhu al derech shinispar beinyan chacham adif mi navi. Amar says that a chacham is better than a navi. What's the better? The better is that tein lo chacham biyachachem oy. Once I'm building, I can build without end. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the house and making it to a home. A navi has what he has. It's very finite. Ironically. A navi gets in the way and he can't be voiced if he can't be, he can't be, there's no chidushim. Your real can't come along, I have a chidush to say. <laughs> I have a navua, but I want to be machad or something. In the no way. Just even say what you heard, that's all. Even Moshe. Even Moshe. Don't add a word. Right. But Moshe had to be the Allah of Mikola, he couldn't add one thing into it. Once you start adding, you're going to become another vaviu. Yeah, the chachmah was supposed to be a because what's the, the A process. Why, why be diyevet? Why be the Evan? It's a talich. Well, well, because you said if we hadn't had We would still have Nabu, but that's who said that's good. Well, we didn't it's not good. It. It's bad. We have more with that's what, we have more with the Tarish of Alpad that we have with Tanakh. If we wouldn't have had it, if it wouldn't have been a destruction, then you wouldn't have had it. So that means that means it's the Evan. No? no. We're happy for the destruction. Meaning, meaning it's a talich in history. It's a talich in history. We're not, could be we should have gotten it with, use it or lose it. We should have gotten it with the base of English. We should have still been growing ourselves. But apparently our Kaddish Baruch had to take it away in order for us to grow. But the point is, it's, it's not a, you see, you know, Rabbi Sadiq says as follows. He says that uh, there's this thing of Eurita Sadaris, right? That like, like the Gemara says that, uh, it, it, Right? If we're like people, they're like malachim. The Yadua says Reb Sadiq, it is well known that Bnei Adam hem yeshik varmi malachim. That's a, we're 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 workers of the malachim. Malachim are just pieces of energy that our Baruch Hu created. Busy bees. We're making choices. We're 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 building. So was it a chasar the chav mishmi to Obviously, that's what Tisha B'av is all about. In the terms of talich of history, that's what caused Teresh Abapeh, which was the greatest development of, of which, is, which, is, which is more important than the Hua, because it's Malchus. Which is why Rabbi Akiva left. Right, <laughs> exactly why he left. So, so it's Malchus. It's Malchus, and Malchus is where we want to get. So Malchus needs destruction. Okay, thank you. Oh.